What you doing? Chewing on that rag. Huh? Chewing on that rag. Yeah. Break it out for a little bit. Come on. Hey, baby. All right, Jason Hollis Farms this morning. It started off cool this morning, but it's steadily warming up just a little bit. Oh, I think we got some more rain coming in, so it's going to warm up a little bit. I'm fixing to start working on this, uh, taking some more of these panels down. I got to get uh, some of these pallets and stuff out of the way. We got a pile here. Some of these pallets won't go back. I'm not, I think they're the wrong size. Sometimes I don't know where some of these things come from. But anyway, that's what we're fixing to start working on. I think I'm going to grab these sacks and go ahead and get them burned out of the way where they don't stack up again. Caught up again. Got a couple of panels moved. Keep fooling with these pallets a little bit. Get them stacked up. All right, y'all got a little more progress. I'll tell you, when I get through getting all this cleaned up, I'm gonna be able to move the spray rig back here. We just fixing to open up another big bay. More use out of the barn. Got some cleaning I gotta do over there. Just gonna take a little while to get it all done. All right, y'all had a load of race car parts come in. Always nice to get them in. Can't show y'all what they are though. Never know who's watching. That's top secret stuff. <laughs> All right, y'all. I got a project that I want to do real quick. That's gonna require the 5065. <laughs> So I finally got the blind back up here to the barn that we took down this summer or whenever it was. Oh, uh, what I'm gonna end up doing, I'm gonna cut the legs off down somewhere pretty low. I wanna keep it up off the ground just a little bit. But what I wanna eventually do is get it cut down to where it's just an easy step to get up on the porch and get in there. So we're gonna put that dude for the wife and me to turkey hunt out of. Cause where it was, we don't use it for deer hunting anymore. So that's gonna be nice. And one thing we run into, I'll show y'all on these wooden ones, you get into, it had the, the steps and the platform and all and what you get into over time, anything with wood, it's gonna rot. So, what I'm doing is uh, gonna eventually swap all these that uh, are wood to the metal stands, kind of a more lifetime type stand where no maintenance and these that we take down, we're gonna use them for turkey blinds. All right, I'll be back. Cody's going rambling for a minute. All right, let's see if we can get this thing cut off.
one of them. I got to unscrew what I can't remember what I put this on there with. It's got a screw, but I believe it's going to pull right out. All right, two more. Now, these are four by sixes. This Milwaukee is bad. I hear Cody coming back. y'all got one more here I'm talking to this camera y'all we're finna teach Cody how to operate this drill all right stick it down in there you got to push hold it in there tight so there you go good all right let me see that screw is there any more in there yeah you gotta stick it down in there deep and hold it and make it sure it look hang on uh-uh you gotta listen to me stick it in there look and then you Hang on, you guys. You gotta spin it till it goes in the. You see how that's made? You see, look, pull it out. You see how that's made? It's mm -hmm. got. Look, look. Here. Put it in there. Put the bit in the. See how it goes in there? Mm hmm. Alright. You gotta make sure it goes down, turn it till it goes down in there. There you go. You gotta hold it up straight. See if it'll do it now. Hang on. Alright, see if it'll come out now. Alright, stick it back in there. You gotta hold on to it tight. That'll make sure it goes in the hole. So you, you got to hold in there. Look, when it jumps out, let off the trigger. You're gonna strip it out. Now, hold tight. You did good on the first one. What's happening? You gotta hold tight. There you go. All right. Let's see if we can get in there. Make sure it goes in there to strip it out and we won't ever get it out. Wait a minute. Let off the trigger. You're going to strip it out. You want me to start it? Mm -hmm. All right now. Look, you got to hold your drill straight. Now, hit the trigger. Come on with it. All right. Let's go to the other end. You gotta hold it in there tight. There you go. Keep your drill straight with it. Hold it tight. There you go. Is there any more in them holes? Pick it up on the board. Let's see. In there somewhere. 
Let me see it. Let me stick it down in there. Get it started. Alright, now finish it off. That one, don't soak down in there. Keep your drill straight up and down when you get it in there. There you go. Good job. Might can twist it out with your hand. There you go. Is there another one in there? Hang on, let me get it started. We sure don't want to strip them out. We want now. Good job. You got better then. All right, pick all six of them up and we'll put them in the garbage where we don't get a flat tire. Make sure you're in there. Get it in there. Hold tight. Uh-uh. There you go. Get it in there. There you go. Hold it in there tight. There you go. Probably come on. Lay them on the ground. They ain't going nowhere. Thinking too much. Boy, you better hold on that thing. There you go. One more. Getting away from you now, boy. <laughs> now nah, you're holding your mouth right. All right, get these other three on the end. We'll leave them. You feel when it falls down in the groove? Just make if you hold you hold your drill straight up and down when you get it in there, and it'll screw will come up. Oh, hang on. Let me get started for you. We strip it out and it won't ever come out. Cut the hole. Now I'll take the rest of the way out. There you go. Two more. Uh oh. You ain't getting in there, are you? Sunk them down in there too far, didn't it? When you get it in there, hold your drill straight up. Gotta hold it. Gotta hold pressure on it good. There you go. One more. There you go. All right, put them six in the garbage. Pretty good. Cody gonna sweep the porch off real quick. All them gumballs and junk out there. We're gonna have this thing just about ready to go turkey hunting. Got all kind of stuff growing on it, don't it, Cody? It's gonna work out pretty good, Cody. Mama gonna like you. You can probably shoot one of the gang chairs in it. Oh, yeah, got chairs in there. I might get you a turkey out of this thing, Coach. About ready to shoot a turkey? Tweep that thing off, boy. I didn't get them perfectly even, but I think it'll be all right. Sure, y'all have seen, we remodeled these things just like these Ranch Kings, pretty much. Thing still got a heater in it. Two nice chairs. 
Cody can sit down right there. Turkeys be coming in out there. We'll be calling. Yo, 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 yo. I say, there he is. There he is. Shoot him, Cody. Shoot him, Cody. Don't let him get away. This is going to be fun right here. All right. We got a surprise for y'all. Cody's going to get it. All right. So y'all know we talked about puppies when we got J.C., the beagle. All right, my wife's got the little jack rat Piper, and we uh, really was after for a long time something like her, as y'all know. And we didn't just settle with uh, JC. We really, really like JC. But my wife went to the flea market again and called me. And they had a couple of litters of puppies up there. So here we go again. We got two brand new puppies. Let me turn y'all around right. and I'll show you what we got. So I'm going to introduce y'all to Pete. This is Pete. He is a Jack Russell Terrier. And he is a mess. He is seven weeks old, I believe. Seven or eight, whatever he is. He is a pretty little thing and he is wide open he's shivering a little bit right now but this dude is gonna be fun now jack russell terrier i'm gonna let him down here and let him get with jc so y'all can see the difference in their size cody bring jc over here all right so here we go y'all see jc's growing there's quite a bit of deer to get them together. But this is a feisty little dude. He will snap and growl and get them. So we're going to end up, we're going to work with um, all three of them in the house. I've been leaving JC up in the barn at night play with her most all the day she's with me all day i usually leave her in the barn in a kennel at night and then get her out during the day oh uh, my wife and cody are gonna play with pete in the house and try to house break him he did really good last night you can wear him out pretty quick and he wants to go to sleep and sleep all night first night so we're gonna end up basically before it's over with with three truck dogs uh, J.C., Pete, and Dodge. Dodge is a little upset with me right now because I hadn't had him out a lot. But it just hadn't been time for him with the hunters yet. I'm starting J.C. and I'll be starting Pete now the same way. Socializing him and all with the hunters. And on some of these real, real easy tracks, just getting them used to it. And then as it goes on with me and Cody start hunting we'll get dodge out and finish him off because he's just shoot i gotta look back he's just barely over a year now so i don't want to confuse him with so much going on right now i want to finish him off right but this uh of course i don't expect jc to be a real rough type dog she's just a beagle but when we get dodge and pete together if we ever run across a possum or a coon or something like that it's gonna be nasty with these two uh, this is this is kind of what I'm after for when I'm riding if I see a coon or something the, the black mouse y'all know I love them but they're pretty big a lot of times to ride up front and all we will get rose out and fool with the deer and all and we'll be, we'll be hog hunting but these two or three little truck dogs is gonna be fun to stay with me all the time Y'all can kind of see the comparison right there. Not sure exactly how big either one of them are going to be, but that JC is growing. And Pete is a tiny little thing. <laughs> I hope he don't get no bigger than Dodge. I don't think he'll get that big. But I can tell you right now, he can take care of himself already. When he gets enough, he gets enough, and he will tear some ears up. <laughs> 
He's gonna be a tough one. It's gonna be a tough one. He can outrun the beagle right now if he wants to. I've already seen him do it. So he's going to try to be a little rough for a little while, but he'll get enough of it and get her. And the thing about it is all three of these dogs just about look identical. We like them. All right, y'all. We've had a pretty good day. Been to call it a day. Got to like our stuff, subscribe to us. Hollis Farms. Hats, T-shirts, and stickers. HollisFarms.com. Appreciate y'all watching. Out of here. All right, y'all, so here's what I decided to do. I am fixing to cut the legs off the bottom of this old shooting house. I'm gonna cut them down about six inches where it's just a little easy step to get in. I'm gonna take the Milwaukee hacksaws and whack them off. That way it'll be just low enough on the ground. Now I'll knock them two by sixes off and when you walk up to it, you just step right in real quiet and easy for the turkeys.